BP has a record of really severe um, uh, uh, oil spills that go back many, many, many years. And these really throwaway dismissive fines have done nothing, not even put a dent in anything that they've done. It's not changed their record. It's like um, Massey in West Virginia. Mm -hmm. If you look at their record, their record when it came to safety was appalling, truly appalling. And they'd never, ever been fined hard enough. There'd never been criminal consequences to what they had done. And so people continue to die. And there's been too little discussion about the Gulf of Mexico and what's it going to mean for the livelihoods of those people. You're talking about generations mm -hmm. of lives being fundamentally changed. We know nothing about BP as a company, generally. It's number four on the global, the Fortune Global 500 list. It made $23 billion in profit, $21 billion in profit last year. So we, we don't want to talk about corporations as these um, huge influencers in our lives that have life and death consequences, as Esther said. So a lot of facts about the company and about all the other players in this are off the table, number one. Number two, the effect on real people is off the table. There hasn't been much reporting from the mainstream media about the actual lives of the people that work there. What are, what's, what's BP's workers' rights record, for instance? And three, we can't have it both ways. Either corporations are people or not. And if they're people, then we need to be asking a different kind of question about what is the criminal liability.